Bars narrow. Do they have a very thin, narrow bar? It's hard to know if you've, you've if looked at this time and you've Yeah, what's the comparison? To compare exactly. To, um, so, what I do is, like, if I run my thumb under here, now she's got a pretty nice, smooth bar on the right, and <laughs> get into the left. she's got a pretty nice, now she has, she's got the kind of bars that are a little bit low, not bad but very flat, um, no sharp edges, very smooth, um, would be less likely to be bothered by uh, different kinds of bits in terms of on the bars. We haven't looked yep. at anything else, yep. but on the bars, this horse would probably tolerate a larger variety of bits because there isn't anything on the bars that is gonna create isolated pressure in any one place. That's the bars. We haven't got to the tongue of the ball or anything yet. Yep. Um, and her bars aren't super high. You'll also have a difference in the height of the bar compared to the rest of the jaw, or the rest of the, the mouth, I mean. Um, so the bars alone, there are a lot of things we're, we're looking at. So when we look at these horses, like if we take a look, now some horses, um, now these bars are a little bit narrower and have a little bit more of a pronounced edge on the inside. And the left one is a little bit rounder and smoother than the right one. No. Which side's, that's left. The left one's a little bit sharper than the right one on that horse. This horse, though, has more flesh in those lips, and those have a tendency to kind of come over those bars maybe a little bit. Okay? So as we're looking at the different stuff, these are all the things that I'm, that I'm looking at. Now, one of the things that I would like you guys to do is if your horses are pretty tolerant, now his bars are pretty just average, normal, not a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, one of the things that if you guys want to and you, you, your neighbors don't mind, go ahead and take a look at other people's horses' mouths, okay? And feel those bars, feel the differences in those bars. Um, so maybe a couple of us can hold some horses or whatever you guys want to do. I'd like you to kind of feel some different ones. up here and if he wants to be a little mouthy and open his mouth and move his tongue around that's great buck's got just a normal tongue okay his is pretty pretty average pretty normal now he does have the canine yeah. teeth okay and um, some people will tell you that mares can't have canine teeth yeah they can okay a lot of them don't but there's quite a few that do oh, um, damn. so this horse's tongue yeah. come on open your mouth okay. this horse's tongue is a little more round than bucks so it's and it's maybe as he's moving it it might be a little bit more narrow this way but fat this way okay so yeah so all of, so when we're looking at that that can also have a significant impact on how that horse is able to pick that bit up in their mouth and protect their mouth with that bit the other thing is um, we'll look at the palate in a second but the other thing is how that relates to the palate. So one of the things that we're looking at here, as we're looking at that tongue, is it very thin and flat? Does the tongue, is it wide? Does it go up and over the bars? Okay. Hers doesn't because it's, it's a little thinner. At least it didn't when I was looking at it right there and he was kind of chewing a little bit. So where does that tongue sit? Does it sit down in between the teeth or does it sit quite a bit? Quite a bit wide. So it's like some sticks bulges out the side. Bulges out the she's side on this horse. Yep. She's got a little bit of that. Yeah, she's got a little bit of that coming out the side more so. This side. On this side. His bulges out. On does only too. one side. I was on the other side. It yeah. wasn't. This yeah. side it is. Yeah. So, so what does that mean in terms of port? Like with the, the well, what 
that means is that you're on a lot of bits, you're going to get an uneven signal on right and left. He's going to have to learn to compensate for that. What, what this means is now we need to take a look. If we've got a bit, if we've got a tongue that's off to the side a little bit, okay, now there's a couple things that can happen. One is if the whole tongue is over to the side, then a lot of times it's, we've got a hyoid this problem that's been off center. But some of them, it's just the way their tongue is built. They're a little fatter on one side than the other. They're asymmetrical. Um, what that means is that if you've got a port in the center and you've got that port, well, if the tongue is more a little fatter on this side, is that going to lay evenly in that port? Do you even need a port? Okay, that one's, it's going to depend on some of it with the roof of his mouth too, with his palate. Um, so as we're looking at this also, do you find if it's a horse you haven't had all your life, is there any scarring on the tongue? Okay, does that horse have any old scars on that tongue from when it was when it was younger? Because I see a lot of horses that that every once in a while we run into one where it's like, oh, do you know you got a big scar on that horse's tongue? I had no idea. Yep, because at some point in that horse's previous life, somebody took a hold of him in a bit and scarred him up. Okay. I was, I was in Into the palate. Now this horse's tongue is pretty normal, but it's thinner and a little more flat than your horse's tongue. So each of these three has a little different tongue. Okay. Now when they're standing there and they have the bit in their mouth, so we're going to look at this one here in a second. Um, when they've got the bit in their mouth, how does that sit in the mouth when they when I just all I'm going to look at? Yeah. All I'm going to do is just look here. So this one. We can see how that mouthpiece, when he's not, I want him just to stand there. We can see how that mouthpiece is right up there against the palate. Yeah. Okay. Now when he moves it, he opens his teeth a little bit as he moves the bit, and he does that on purpose because he can't. Otherwise, it's just banging into the into the palate. Yeah. But the snap would be worse. Like that. Yes. Yeah. So here's a perfect example. This horse, he likes the Myler way better than the Snaffle. Yeah. That is that's why yeah. i mean because in a snaffle bit that that mouthpiece is already touching the roof of the mouth so if that snaffle folds and comes up now it's jamming right into those ridges in that upper palate mm -hmm. on yeah let's do that um and we can see it really clearly when you look in the corner of the mouth how that that mouthpiece is in that palate right now mm -hmm. now as he moves that bit you can see him open his teeth to allow that to drop out of those ridges as he moves that bit. So when we're looking at what he's doing, like right now, just playing with it, he's not stressed, he's not doing anything, but uh, you see like that a little bit to drop it down and then moves it, yeah. okay? Um, some horses in the bits with a cricket, you don't really see their mouth, mouth open at all. They're just moving it with the tongue. Mm -hmm. He couldn't really do that with this bit because it's stuck up there in the, in, in the roof of that mouth. But that's why he likes that bit way better. Yeah. So any with his, for him, the mylar, that mylar, that's why it's working better. And then if even if you had one that didn't even bend as much as that one, it would be down out of that. Now that one kind of has a little bit of this curve. Oh, yeah. So if you have one with a little less curve, yeah. it's going to put less pressure into that palate. Okay. So if you Is. She's like, oh, I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>